so this is the fit from smoke or smock a uh, little refillable pod system uh, equivalent to the kind of dual system that you've got so let's take a look at what comes in the box what you get with this and uh, sort of layout of the device it's not going to be in depth because there's no buttons on this device So here's the fit in the box. As you can see, it's the blue one I've got. We've got our TPC compliance with the nicotine warning as a straightforward box. On the side here, we've got all the details for smoke, uh, smoke tech and the contact details. On the back of the box tells us the contents. So in the box, we get one fit mod, two pods, e-lit with injection bottle, USB and user manual. And again, we've got the TPD compliance at the bottom there. And there we've got vaping to wrap details as well and a quality control sticker there. So if we open the box, same as every other smock box, you open it up, the sleeve comes off. And then we've got our standard sort of looking black box here. Take the lid off. And in the top there, we will have our fit mod and two pods. See that? So we'll take the top level away. Underneath you've got a card that's sort of blocking off. Pop that out. And then we've got our user manual for the fit, so we'll have a look at that. So it's just a fold-out manual, not very detailed, not a huge amount, so you just get details of it. Uh, warranty info, components, and then other side, a user guide which has two points on it and how to fill a pod and all the usual sort of stuff there. Uh, next thing in the box is this card here. So the card shows us... Uh, not to inhale immediately after filling the pod. That's just to allow some wicking time going on there. You've got USB cable and you've got this refill bottle which has the very narrow pour on it. That's so that it will fit in the pod nice and easy. Quite a useful bottle. It's nice and squeezy so uh, we'll be using that. So I'll keep that out of the box. Uh, let's have a look at the device itself. So it's not really got much to show here. It says fit on one side. You've got a bevel to hold the uh, pod in place. One on the other side. It says smock on the other side there. If you look down, you can just about see where the connectors are. It's a bit dark in there. And at the bottom, you've got your USB port for charging. So we'll have a quick look at one of the pods now. So here's a pod that's not being used. you got your fill cap at the side there to fill the juice. And underneath you'll see there's uh, one of the air vents. At the bottom you can just about make out where the cotton is for the wicking. Uh, just underneath the chimney section there. And uh, there's another look to see the vents. And at the bottom of the, device, of the pod you'll see the connectors. That's where it's going to connect in when you pop it into the fit. So that's it. Just like that, that's how you change the pod. There's no magnets or anything. Uh, to fit, refill the pod, the uh, rubber grommet has to be opened. It can be a little bit tight in there, and if you've not got fingernails, it can be a bit hard to actually get a grip. But there you go, that's it open. You can see it's quite a small hole. Uh, that's why they've given you this refill bottle with the metal nozzle there that's really tight. So that fits absolutely perfect in there. I'm not going to fill this pod up because this is a new pod and I do have one that I've already been using. So I'm just going to grab that. And you can see that's got juice in it. You can see the air bubbles as well. Now, one of the problems that I've found with this is that it will fit. It will take juice equally from both sides, but then the air bubbles will get stuck on one side. So because of the size of the chimney, it you can actually end up where you've got half your pod filled and you can't fill the other half because of the air bubbles. Usually a shake will sort that out. Now there is one last thing I want to show on this device uh, before we go back up top. And that's an issue that I've had with the charger cable. So this is a, just another USB. I've got loads of these things kicking about. Plug it into the device as if you're charging. And there it is plugged in. And when you go to pull it out, the entire circuitry of the device is coming away. Uh, so it's not in there very tight. It's not falling out or anything. It's only when you pull on it like that. Uh, so you have to actually disconnect the port and then make sure that it's all pushed back in. And then the device will work fine. It, it's not a major issue. I could probably fix this with a bit of Gorilla Glue. I'm not sure if this is affecting all pods, all of these fit pods, or if it's just specific to the one that I've got. But it is a bit of an issue that I've found with it. Uh, if anyone else has had this issue with their device, let me know. But there you go, a bit of vape, so I've checked it and it is all working again. So let's go back up top, we'll have a vape on it and we'll talk more about this device.
So let's just quickly go over the specs on this device now. I've got the user manual here, so I'm just going to read them from here. Uh, so the size is 18.4 by 8 by 107.5 millimeters. Weighs only 20 grams. It is really light. Uh, the battery capacity is really small. It's only 250 mAh or mAh. And the power range is between 10 and 16 watts. Uh, doesn't say anything in here about the uh, resistance of the coil on the pod. And I can't find anything to that actually says that. I have bought additional pods. It doesn't say anywhere there either. Uh, I believe it's in the range of 1 ohm to 1.2 ohm. That's actually the range on this. Uh, so let's go through some real life sort of light living with this. Uh, so I've had this for about a week and a half two weeks now and I have been using it pretty constant uh, that battery life is really really low um, and essentially the pod will last an entire battery life the pod will a full pod will last longer than the battery will uh, and I've done this in full testing I've left the house one morning completely fully charged completely full pod and I vaped on it continuously and about an hour and a half later the battery was dead and the pod was Still had a bit of juice in it. I had about uh, it's a two mil pod, so it had about uh, an eighth of a pod left. So not a huge amount left in the pod, but the battery was completely dead, and that was with me vaping it almost continuously. So not a huge amount of life, battery life from there. But I do take, carry a battery pack around with me, so that wasn't an issue for that day. Plus, I had another vape with me, so it's not a device for continual use. Uh, another thing I found, you can take long inhales on it, it's got an 8 second cutoff, but if you are doing the long inhales and you try and do really long sort of uh, direct lung hits off this device, uh, you will burn the coils. The first coil I burnt on the first day by, because I tried that and that was it. So it does have that cut off option, cut off there, but if you try and do it continual, you will burn the coil out because it doesn't. it's not an efficient wicker for that. Uh, like it says in that warning card, you need to leave it a couple of minutes when you first fill it up. So let's go. Let's have a quick vape on it, and we'll go through the pros and cons of this device. So pros and cons on the device. So let's start off with the pros. Uh, first off is the price point. It, this device only cost me fifteen pounds. I did buy it in for the purposes of this review. Uh, it was not provided to me by the company, so uh, £15 is a really good price for a little pod system. Uh, another pro on it, uh, recharge time. This will charge from a flat battery to full within 45 minutes to an hour. So it doesn't take long to charge it up when the battery runs out, and that's down to the small battery life. The battery size there is only 250 mAh, so it's a uh, very low battery life on it. I like the form of it, I like the shape of it. I like the feel of it, it's really light, it's really small, it, slip it in your pocket. Great for the stealth vapes, great for the inhale, if you put high nick juice or nick salt juice in here it will get that nicotine fix for you really good. Really good little transition device, it's got that really tight draw so it is like smoking a cigarette as well. So these are all pros for the device. Uh, another pro is the little refill bottle that comes with it. it does make it a lot easier to fill the pods up. Uh, I've tried filling up from a normal juice bottle and it is really awkward because there's no space for the air to come back out. Whereas that uh, refill bottle is fine. It's about 15 ml there. Uh, it's over 10, I know that much. Uh, but you fill it up, nice and squidgy bottle. Pot, and it's got the cap there, so you just stick that in your pocket, take it along with you. Uh, it's not a huge, it's not a big bottle. It's just a little one that refills. Uh, Lifetime-wise, I mean, as I said already, uh, I managed to get through a full battery in an hour, but that was vaping heavy, uh, and that was really a test on the device, uh, just to see what it would do. Uh, so onto the cons, and there are quite a few of these. Uh, obviously, my first con has got to be. The problem where I pull the charger out and it will pull the entire device, center of the device out. Uh, now I don't know if that's specific to my device or if that is a universal problem with these. If you've got one, if you've had that same issue, leave it in the comments let me know. Uh, I've only got the one device so I can't confirm if that's across the board. It will be a quick easy fix. I'm just going to pop it open, pull it out again, put a little bit of Gorilla Glue around the bottom, pop it back and that should hopefully hold it in place. Uh, 
so I didn't want to do that before I did the review I wanted to show it as is so that's obviously the first con uh, another con is when you're filling up the pods so you can see this pod I have been using it a little while you see there's quite a bit of juice on one side there uh, it's actually split it across but you can see one side has bubbles so this side has bubbles this size has quite a bit bigger and ideally you want to get that bubble on the other side because the fill cap is there you see uh, and if I was to fill this up uh, I would still be left with this bubble on this side because that chimney is so wide compared to the pod that there's no space for the air bubbles to sort of move around easy and because there's not another air hole anywhere when you're filling it will fill on one side and you you can end, end up with one side that has more juice than others occasionally I'll also spot that down the bottom here where the where the wick ports are bubbles will form and not move so they'll get trapped there as, as well now this is in part down to the juices that you're using as well uh, at the minute I've got a 70-30 juice in there I have put a 50-50 juice in there and the 50-50 juice does work a lot better uh, so it is kind of designed for those 50-50 juices the higher nicotine juices that's you do get a lot better sort of results in the pods with those so those are the two main cons uh, another one is obviously battery life it's only a 250 mAh battery so as I did my test with it I only got an hour's battery life out of this device uh, other than that it's pretty much it for the cons uh, a couple of them very specific to this device uh, especially that one with the charger port so I'm not going to count that as a full con because it may only be this uh, individual device that's got that problem and it is a quick fix so it's not the end of the universe for me and I've been able to use it the whole time with that that happened the first time that happened was two days after I got it uh, so I didn't didn't think of replacing it I just went oh that's unusual let's see how long it lasts see what difference it makes and it's not actually been a problem it I mean I can shake it it's not going to come out it's only when you tug on it that it's going to happen and the sort of way around that is to make sure that you're disconnecting the USB without uh, pulling the whole thing out uh, so that's it for the pros and cons now I just filled up the refill bottle so I'm going to show you the actual filling process here so you can see here you see it's quite full empty there so I'm just going to open it up there we go and that does rotate around the grommet so you can actually turn it around so it won't just fall back in and just take the cap off so as you saw there's quite a bit in there it's empty so I'll just pop that in fill 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 and that's, as you can see try and get this on camera try and get it to focus there you can see the juice is actually filled to the point that it's done but you can still see there are bubbles in there so if I close it over seal it up so that's now closed and sealed and if I flip the device look there's still this huge bubble that's now spread across so I filled it up to the point that I can't fill it anymore and it's still got space in there for more juice so that is a bit of an awkward bit there it, you can get used to it though it just means that you're not filling all the way and it's not the end of the world it is something that you can live with uh, but that's just the, want to demonstrate that little con there as well okay Overall on this device, I'm going to give it a mark of 3.5 out of 5, or 7 out of 10. Because uh, it's not 100% brilliant, uh, there are a couple of issues. I'm not counting the uh, issue with the innards coming out, because that could be specific to this device. So the only sort of downsides are that short battery life. Uh, they could have put a bigger battery in it. Because I've seen the insides, there is space for a bigger battery in there. So they could have gone up and got a bit more battery life out of it. Uh, 
the form factor I really like. It does fit nicely. It's really light. It's really convenient. It's great for a little stealth vape. It's great for uh, transitional users coming over from smoking. It's a really good little device for that. Uh, I like the fact you can put your own juice in it. It's not restricted to uh, pre-filled pods, which does work out really expensive if you're doing that. Uh, so overall, it's a good little device. Uh, the only real downsides are the refilling. It's not... It's a bit awkward there, and also with the um, short battery life. But overall, a really good device. I would recommend this device, and I have recommended this device to transitional users. It's a really good device to get people away from the cigarettes. So that's what I reckon on this one. Uh, overall, pretty good. And that's going to wrap it up for this review. So if you like this review, hit that like button, uh, feel free to leave a comment. If you've got one of these devices and you've got the same problem with the charger pulling out the device, please let me know in the comments. I don't know if this is an isolated instant or if there are other people experiencing the same issue. So if you've got one, if you're feeling that, let me know, uh, just so I can update this uh, device. Uh, jump on over to my channel, I do loads of vaping videos, I do reviews like this, I do previews, I do uh, vaping news, I also do a vlog, so go check them out on the channel and hit that subscribe button. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, that's at one purple mongoose. there is also a Facebook page, I'll leave a link in the description for that, there, and I do also run a Patreon. So if you're interested in uh, winning one of these, because I will put this up as a competition prize on my Patreon, jump on over there, take a look. Uh, it's www.patreon.com slash purplemongoose. And as ever... Vape on!